every year in the UK, there is an average of 350 reported cases of Legionnaire's disease. There are also 330,000 reported cases of water-related diseases in the EU. This pneumonia-like illness is a serious lung infection caused by Legionella bacteria that occurs naturally in soil, which then contaminates natural water sources. When they find their way into man-made water supply systems, they can multiply to harmful levels when presented with the right conditions. Legionella thrive in moist conditions between 20 to 45 degrees Celsius. Feeding on nutrients from scale, sediment, algae, rust, sludge and organic matter. If contracted, Legionnaires is potentially fatal, with a mortality rate of up to 40% in vulnerable situations. Legionnaires disease is contracted by inhalation of airborne water droplets containing Legionella. First, the bacteria invade the alveolar macrophages, cells in the lungs responsible for removing dust particles. Then, they create a defensive vacuole to evade the body's defences and multiply before destroying the cell, releasing a large number of bacteria that go on to infect other macrophages. Everyone is exposed to infection, but there are higher risk groups who are more susceptible. Under health and safety legislation, there are guidelines that must be followed to protect employees and the public from risks associated with Legionella. In the workplace, there must be a nominated person responsible for overseeing Legionella control and managing risks. These risks can be minimised by following guidelines published by the HSE, the Approved Code of Practice L8. ACOP L8 outlines the five principles that employers must follow. Identify and assess the source of risk. Prepare a scheme for controlling the risk. Implement, manage and monitor precautions. Keep records of precautions. And, as we've already covered, appoint someone to be managerially responsible. This chart shows some of the practical steps required for controlling Legionella in your water system and complying with the ACOP L8. A risk assessment must be reviewed at least every two years. A qualified assessor will trace all pipe work and inspect each asset evaluating the risk. The report will contain asset registries, photographs and site schematics. Monthly monitoring is one of the most effective ways to prevent serious problems within your water system. Results of temperature monitoring, shower head disinfections and water heater inspections must be recorded in a logbook to achieve compliance. When a tank shows signs of contamination, it must be cleaned and disinfected, taking microbiological samples to ensure it's free from harmful pathogens. Tanks supplying drinking water should be disinfected annually. The risk assessment will identify physical improvements to bring your water system up to compliance. Removing dead legs, upgrading tanks to code and removing redundant water heaters, for example, will improve the hygienic operation of your system. For more information and advice on how to achieve compliance, call our team today.